I asked the question earlier about the importance of providing spiritual support to those who protect our community. One person who might have a, a take on that is uh, the, Reverend Sarah Plummer, my guest today. Sarah's the first woman to hold the position of senior chaplain, specialist operations in the New South Wales Police Force. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you, Keith. Thank now, it sounds like an interesting role. Congratulations on being the first woman to hold it. Thank you. But how did it come about for you? Um, well, I, I really uh, had finished a season of work with World Vision International and uh, I rang up the Archbishop Glenn Davies and just said uh, what would be the next chapter. Um, and he suggested that I think about Anglicare Sydney chaplaincy and, um, and put forward this possibility of a police chaplain. And it was a little bit left field, a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, prayed about it, thought about it, and uh, decided to put my application in and I won the position. And so uh, it's, it's been an amazing journey, really, really hard. And the question that every chaplain has to wrestle with, and, 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 what, and the question I'm asking you, is really, are you a, a chaplain to the police force mm. or a chaplain to the general public? <laughs> <laughs> and I know the answer's not an easy one, is it? No, yeah. I think um, many uh, do confuse those two, but we are primarily our main focus is to the New South Wales police force. Um, and so we're there to really support and empower and encourage those who, who do the hard work of policing um, and the New South Wales police employees as well. Yeah. And sometimes find themselves in places which, which compromise their stability and make them feel you know very challenged. Uh, it, it's a tough job and you know they're dealing with um, you know 10% of the community that, that are cho choose not to follow the law mm. and so 90% of their time is spent trying to keep um, that those uh, victims of crime uh, care for the community um, to keep our, pla our properties and our places safe and our community safe. So, you know, they, they spend 90% of their time doing that to keep 10% of our community. So what's a typical day like? Oh, for me, um, it, it really varies. Sometimes I could be out with the marine team um, and the specialist teams out there. Um, another day I could be uh, at a management meeting, planning and strategically thinking things through. Um, other times just someone walks in, into my office for a chat um, and the privilege to just listen and journey with them. Yeah. They're yeah. ordinary mums and dads and, and uncles and aunts and and the ordinary people with ordinary issues, but then they also have mm. this extraordinary job where uh, they they do face a lot of challenges. So just if you were to define a chaplain, what would you say a chaplain is? Ah. I think it's 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 a person that's willing to to journey with another in a cross cultural situation. So you're you're there to to be in some way a representative and a, a presence, a spiritual presence um, that really comes alongside and journeys and brings a sense of soul mm. to the context mm. that the person finds themselves in. And I think you, you really want to just um, encourage them to, to encounter and to think deeply about, about their own spirituality. Um, and if that's a Christian faith, uh, share the, the, the love of God in mm. that space. Um, mm. And we, I mean, the obvious question is you feel called by God, but what draws you to, to this kind of work? Mm. You know, I think they deserve our support. My admiration for the New South Wales Police Force and what they do every day has just gone up and up. They, they're one of the best practising police forces in the world and we have a lot of international people come and look at what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Our crime rates are really stable mm. and, and I think they deserve um, people to come alongside them and support mm. them. It is tough and a lot I, of trauma I, And I know you can't talk about specific yeah. uh, situations, nor would we want to even try to go there, but is there anything that sticks out in your mind mm. uh, as being something that you would say, that, that, that will stay with me? Look, one thing I can talk about, there's a community awareness policing program where they, they draw together kind of key leaders in, in the state and they threw us into a, uh, scenarios of what police go through. And to be honest, those split second decisions that have to be made in intense situations, um, the integrity and the excellence that they have at trying to follow operating procedures. Mm. Uh, we, were, we were thrown into a, a factory and um, it was, you know, we were given the opportunity to, to work out how do you, what choice of weapon do you use in this situation? How do you protect yourself? How do you protect those around mm -hmm. you? 
Um, those kind of split second decisions are, are not easy for a, a lay person, you know, mm. just for someone who's not in that force. But mm. um, it was just amazing to, to see that. And um, Highway Patrol, we had a, a practice scenario pursuit and the, the experience of going in at high speed, um, I was pretty green after that one. <laughs> I had 10 minutes of just uh, unwinding from that. Um, but seeing what the Highway Patrol do and, uh, and their processes. So. Sarah, I'd like to ask you one final question. If someone's been listening in, overhearing, as it were, our conversation, mm. and something you said has struck a chord with them, what advice would you give them about whether it's being a chaplain, taking a step out of their own comfort zone, to, to share their own Christian faith? What would you say? I, I think that it's, it's a wonderful opportunity to, to shine God's love. And, you know, life is too short. Um, the risen Lord Jesus Christ, um, he gave me back life. I, I was dead and he gave, raised me back to life in an incredible miracle. Mm. Um, and you want to make your life count. So pray about it. Think about it. Shine God's love wherever he has encouraged you to be. Mm. And, um, and just the risen Lord Jesus Christ is worth honouring in glorifying in mm. everything you do. So go and, for it. and there's a calling for every season, isn't Absolutely. there? You know, you talked about having served on uh, with World Vision International. Yeah. Now here, God has something for for those who really are called and faithful to do. Absolutely, absolutely. And I, it's, it'll take you to the most amazing places that you can never imagine. So um, yeah, go for it. <laughs>